Hello everyone, this is James Peterson here and today we're going to talk about advanced tips for using SmartArt. Now I'm going to give a presentation on leadership and I'm going to talk about the dimensional model of leadership behavior. Now this is from a book called Leadership Through People Skills and they have a four-dimensional model that looks like this. Now I've created this SmartArt. Now the biggest problem with having this slide all come up at once is it's a lot of work for the presenter. The presenter needs to explain the horizontal dimension, the vertical dimension, and then explain each of these leaders in order, Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. That's a lot of information for the presenter to remember. So what I like to do is build complex slides gradually. So I would animate this, but you're gonna see a problem when I do animate this. Um, you can see that both dimensions come up at the same time. I would like to talk about each dimension separately. I would even like to add some labels here. Uh, also, you can see that when I'm animating it, it's out of order. It went Q1, Q4, Q2, Q3. If I switch out of slideshow mode and I open up the animation pane, um, I can see my animations here. And one of the things which you'll notice is I can't change the order of animations. Okay, there's only one order. I can only do it in the order that it gives me. Or if I go to the effect options and I go to Smart Art Animation, I can do it in the reverse order. Let's take a look at reverse order and see how that looks. So in reverse order, it goes Q3, Q2, Q4, Q1, and then it puts the grid at the end. And that's no good either. So what can I do? There's actually a very easy way to fix this. So there are three steps. First, create your smart art. Second, convert your smart art to shapes. And last, then you can edit graphics and add animations as you like. So let's see how we're going to do that. So I have my smart art here, and you can see it still has all the animations. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to smart art tools, then I'm going to click on design, and over here you can see convert. Click on convert, and then click on convert to shapes. Now, this is a drawing object, and you can see all of my animations have disappeared. But this is still one object, so now what I need to do is I need to ungroup it. I'm going to click on Drawing Tools, and then it says here Group, and now I'm going to click Ungroup. Now, I can animate as I please. So let's say I want to do my animation, so I'm going to do this one, Add Animation, and Appear. I'll just do the other animations very quickly here. So if we look in slideshow mode, we can now see what that looks like. The, the dimensions come up first, and then I have the animations in the correct order. Now, the one thing which I'd like to do is I'd like to replace this line. So have a horizontal line and a vertical line. Um, so let's replace those. So I'm going to go to Insert. Then I'm going to select Shapes. And I'm going to choose the double arrow. And then I'm going to draw my arrow. I'm leaving the other arrow here uh, because I want to use it to help me measure the and also to help me with the location. Okay, um, So now I want to right click on this on the arrow and click on format shape. Now I'm going to close my animation pane. So here's my format shape. Now I need to change the line color. Uh, so I'm going to just switch and I'll switch that to black. Um, now the other thing which I want to do is I want to change the thickness and let's see if 10 how that looks. It looks a little bit thick I think so I'm going to just change it maybe to uh, 8 and maybe 8 is about right. Okay so now I can uh, and I could adjust the arrow type but uh, for me that one looks good. Okay uh, so you're going to just put it in the right location. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and I'm going to just copy it. Control C, Control V, and I have a copy of it. And now what I want to do is I'm going to just put that right in the same place as the other one. So I just kept the other uh, arrow there just so that I could see where it goes. Now I'm going to click on the other one and I'm going to delete it. And so that one, the four quadrant arrow is gone. Uh, and now I have these two arrows. 
Now the next thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to close my background pane and now I want to animate these. Uh, so the first thing is I'm going to click this one and I think a good animation is uh, so go to animations add animation and a good animation for this one is called split and I'm going to do effect options I'm going to do a uh, vertical out and so that's that one and now I'm going to do this one add animation and I'm going to do split and this one here I'm going to do a uh, horizontal out and let's look at the animation pane. So the last two animations are always on the bottom. So that's animation five and animation six. So I want to move animation five to the top. I just drag it up there. And then animation six, I want to move that to number two. Now all of my animations should be in order. So let's see. So now I can talk about the horizontal dimension. Then I can talk about the vertical dimension. And then I can talk about each leadership type. Now there's other things which I could do and I could add some labels and let's see how that goes. So I want to add four labels. So I'm going to click on insert and then I'm going to click on text box and I'm going to draw my label here. And on this one end it's called hostility. And I want to increase the font size. I like a minimum of 24. So I'm going to increase it to 24. And I could format it to make it look nicer but I think that looks good enough. Once you have your one label, just copy and paste it. So control C and control V, and I'm gonna make four copies. So I'm gonna just move the labels into the proper positions, and then I'm gonna change the names of each of the labels. So now I wanna add my animations. So click on the first label, then click on animations, add animation up here. And you need to think about your script, which label do you want to talk about first and just animate them in order so I'm going to click on the next one add animation up here and next add animation up here and add animation up here now what I need to do is I need to move these labels so I want the horizontal line I can see the straight arrow number one I want these two labels to appear right after straight arrow number one and then these two text boxes, I want them to appear after straight arrow number two. So I'm going to move them. Now I'm ready to give my presentation. So today I'm going to talk about the dimensional model of leadership behavior. And I can talk about the horizontal dimension. Then I can talk about the vertical dimension. And then I can talk about each of the leaders in order. So I really like building complex slides gradually and the reason is it allows me to remember what I wanted to say just at that moment and it also allows the audience to follow along with your presentation. So let's summarize. Step one is to create your smart art. I started with a list and then I right clicked and then selected the smart art that I wanted. Step two is to convert your smart art into a shape you need to ungroup that shape after. And step three is to edit your graphics and your animations as you like. So, there are three steps. Create your smart art, convert your smart art to shapes, and edit graphics and add animations.